What's going on guys, it's Barry from the Yamar Academy and today we're changing oil on our bigger excavators. It is the same for the VIO 17 through the SV100. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> equipment you will need are a service kit for the machine, a container for waste oil, an oil filter wrench, a ratchet, a 14 and 17 millimeter socket, gloves, safety glasses, and a few rags. The first step in changing your oil is to swing the house so that the oil drain plug is positioned between the tracks at the back of the machine. Park on a level surface, turn the engine off, and make sure the boom, bucket, and blade are lowered completely to the ground before proceeding. Next, what you want to do is grab your ratchet and a 14 millimeter socket, loosen up these three bolts and drop the access cover. Place the oil container to catch the oil under the drain plug. Be careful not to pull the drain plug out completely. This will help to prevent oil spills. Go ahead and slowly remove the drain plug, being careful not to spill any oil on the ground. Once the oil is drained, check the oil for any metallic flakes. If this is the initial oil change, there will be some. Wipe off the drain plug and reinstall it. Open the engine access panel. Now let's replace the oil filter. Turn the oil filter counterclockwise to loosen it. After you remove the oil filter, wait 10 minutes before replacing it. This allows the system to drain completely. Take your rag and wipe any dirt away from the filter mount. Now apply a light film of new oil or grease to the new filter sealing surface. When mounting the new filter, turn it two-thirds of a turn after the sealing surface has connected the filter mount. Once the filter is installed, it's time to add oil. Add the oil until it is at the upper mark of the dipstick. Again, this should take 7.82 quarts for VIO 55. Run the engine for 10 minutes and make sure you look for any leaks. Once 10 minutes has elapsed, shut down the engine and check the engine oil level. It should be between the upper and lower marks on the dipstick. So there you have it guys, quick, simple, easy, and something that's very important if you want to keep your excavator in the dirt for years to come. Until next time, I'll see you at the Yamar Academy.